Well, hello everyone. Today I am sharing nine things I should have bought sooner. And I have you guys to thank for some of these things. You have, you know, given me advice and I was stubborn and I didn't listen until now. Other items I've kind of come up with on my own, um, but I thought this video would be really fun and interesting and maybe give you guys some ideas too. So the very first item or items, because it's plural, is living plants. And I know so many of you are just rolling your eyes at me because I have received countless comments uh, from people telling me how tacky my fake faux plants look in my home. And I knew that the whole time, even though some of them I legitimately think look pretty good. Um, but I knew that it was more just me being scared that I would kill everything. But I spent some time researching really easy plants and I've been kind of having like a little collection, like every so often I'll buy a new one and I have just been thoroughly enjoying it. So many of us are cooped up in our house and this is such an amazing way to bring the outdoors in to our home. And it just completely cleans the air. Like plants, help our oxygen, they remove toxins from the air. It's just actually really healthy to have plants in your home. Not to mention, they're just beautiful decor pieces. Like I just feel like so many of my spaces have been transformed for the better. So none of this video is sponsored, but I am going to link a website called The Sill. I don't know if you guys, maybe you've heard of it before, but they have so many fashionable and healthy, easy plants that they ship directly to your house. So I did some of that. Um, other times I would just pick one up at like Lowe's or Home Depot. So you guys can do whatever you guys wanna do, but I just really encourage you guys to kind of just, just buy a few plants. I think you won't regret it. Number two is stylish yet simple and washable bedding. If you have been watching me for a while now, you will know I have been on a journey towards bedding. Like literally, I have tried so many different comforters and sheets, literally like so many things. Probably a year ago, I finally found this amazing like furry comforter and it was super cheap. Like, okay, it wasn't super cheap, but it was like pretty inexpensive. Um, and I definitely loved it. I recommended it to you guys, but my only qualm with that, um, and I knew that I knew this going in, and I think I even like said this in the video that I just don't know how long it would last because I wouldn't know how to actually wash it because it was so thick and so soft and furry and fluffy. And here we are a year, almost a year later, and I just ended up getting rid of it because I just couldn't wash it. So here we are, I have finally invested in really healthy, like 100% organic cotton, um, a duvet cover, a duvet insert. Um, I have new pillowcases, sheets, and some shams. And I spent so much time like researching which brand, because there's so many out there. And I finally came up with this, which is from Bowl and Branch. Again, not sponsored but I have just loved it. I cannot recommend this stuff enough. I know it's white, but it's washable. It's so soft. It's 100% organic, no chemicals. It's super pure, so soft, love it. So I'll link exactly everything that I have, but I feel like it's changed half of my life because half of my life literally is spent in bed sleeping. Number three is kind of like another journey that I've embarked upon. I've tried so many of these. I have so many of these. I should have just taken the plunge and ordered this one from the start. And it's not even that much more expensive, but it is powerful. So this is the Rav Power Portable Power Bank, and it's just amazing. And there's a specific feature to this that makes it so amazing. So it comes in this nice travel case, uh, but this is what it looks like. And I just checked on Amazon, by the way, Fingers crossed when this goes live, it's still on sale. But right now, this is only $112. I paid more for it. Um, but yeah, this is great because there's all these different inputs and outputs that you can charge your phone with and, and all of that. But the kicker is it actually has a plug, like a real plug. So you can charge your laptop, again, your phone, you can charge small appliances, you could charge your camera. You can take this traveling with you. You can take this, if you're working on your laptop and to take it in the car, and like maybe you're a doctor's appointment or at the hospital or or something like that. Um, people take this when they go camping. It's just seriously such a good item to have in your house that multiple people will use. But I find myself using this just way more than I expected. And it's really nice to have on hand. I mean, look at look at what happened in Texas. I mean, you know, just having different power sources through your home can kind of be a lifesaver. Not that this is gonna save your life. I'm just saying that this will, I think, come in handy more than you expect. The next thing that I wanna share with you kind of is a good segue because it does involve my laptop, but I should have just done this sooner. And I'm telling you guys to do this soon if you haven't already. And that is investing in a very 
large monitor to use as your, your screen for your laptop. Now having a laptop is great because it is portable. Like we just talked about with the power bank, you could sit in your bed if you want to work on things, maybe take it in the car with you if you're waiting in an appointment. Like I love a good laptop. But when you're actually in your home working, sometimes you just need a big screen and you also need a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard. I have a beautiful set. I will link everything. It's white. It looks so nice in my little office space. Um, my monitor is curved. You don't have to get curved. I just really encourage you to get a big monitor so that you can open different screens and just work at a faster, mo more productive pace. It literally feels like you are working at a desktop, but you just plug it all into your laptop. It's just such, it's just like the best of both worlds and I should have done it sooner. Okay. Okay, so this next one, I kind of feel guilty even sharing it because it has gone up significantly in price since I have purchased it a few years ago. And I know I'm prefacing, but it is investing in a good coffee machine or espresso machine. And the one that we bought a few years ago is the number one best-selling one on Amazon. And I just checked and it is $700 now like what my no we paid like 400 something for it at the time I was like oh my gosh this is crazy expensive but now I just cannot even believe how expensive it is but it just I'm telling you guys it's it's just so nice now whether or not you should buy that one I'm not sure like I use mine though guys I use it every single day multiple times a day and I no longer crave Starbucks I don't need Starbucks I, I just love my machine and I make my Americanos. Josh makes his lattes and his flat whites. You can literally make anything in this machine. So I honestly feel like I have in the long run saved money and my coffee is so much better. Um, so I will link that one below and a few others that have really, really good reviews. If you're a coffee lover out there, guys, it's time. It's time to buy an espresso machine. Um, and I will also share my favorite coffee. Uh, again, none of this is sponsored, but the Allegro brand from Whole Foods, which Amazon, uh, I think, yeah, they own Whole Foods now. So you can get this particular coffee bean on Amazon, but it's the Allegro uh, Sierra espresso beans like they're specifically made for espresso uh, so if you grind your beans try this try it it's delicious the next item that I should have bought sooner is another appliance another small appliance and I am not somebody that likes to collect a lot of appliances. There's only two in my life that I must have. The first being the espresso machine, the next being my Vitamix blender. I should have gotten one or purchased one years and years ago. And I've even had mine for like a good amount of years, but I should have even had it long before that. I should have just just taking the plunge and bought it because it's that amazing. I use mine multiple times a day. I make smoothies, I make my acai bowls, I make soup. I even like bake with it. Sometimes I'll make my cookie batter or pancake mix, like the healthy gluten-free kind. And rather than stirring everything, I just blend it up in my blender. I use my Vitamix so much and it is so much better than all of those dumb blenders I had in the past that literally could barely even crush ice. So I'm just here to say it might be time to upgrade to the Vitamix it's worth every penny. The next items I should have bought sooner involve good closet organization, but specific, specific things that have kind of changed my life. Uh, the first being this like pull out bar thing in my closet. I get asked about it all the time. It's like hard for me to like share about it because you can't buy it online. Like I, it's from California closets. I, I, you cannot order it online. I just ordered two more of them and I had to call my local store. They ordered it for me and now I'm gonna go pick them up at the store, but you can get them in different finishes and metal colors, but guys, they are so functional, amazing. You will use them, you'll just use them all the time. I, I hang up clothes there, I will put my outfits of the day, it slides back in, so it's, it, kind of concealed at the same time. It's just great. I also recommend d dividers in your drawers. It took me a lot, like a long time to finally do that. If you haven't done it, I encourage you guys to do it. I, I have my sock drawer organized better, my underwear, my, my bras, like everything is just so much more organized and I can find everything. Should have done it sooner. And then the last thing I will say, and I will be done with this topic because I've said this so many times, but if you have not invested in just all of the same color hangers that are felt, like the, the velvet felt hangers, you're seriously missing out. It just transforms the way your closet looks. It makes you fit more clothes into your closet or just have more space to kind of like move things around. And they're just, they're just great. So I know, I know I've said it so many times, I'm done now. The next items, just take with a grain of salt. This is just my personal 
thing that I wish I would have done sooner. A lot of people have completely differing opinions on this, so you do you. But I wish I would have switched to a healthier deodorant sooner. This is the native deodorant, so it has no aluminum, no parabens. It's just really healthy. I've tried so many deodorants that are healthy and they all suck. This is the first one uh, that I just legitimately works. Smells amazing, there's so many different scents, but I just feel really good about using it. Now, I will say, like I shared this weeks and, or months ago, um, because uh, I got, I ordered them from Amazon and um, a lot of people said that there was no studies linking aluminum to breast cancer. And um, that's fine, you're right. There's no like conclusive studies linking that. However, there are studies linking aluminum. And when you have aluminum in your body, it kind of flocks to the breast cells. And then if those cells have too much aluminum, it definitely, like can lead to cancer. Now, maybe we're getting aluminum in other ways and that's probably true. However, aluminum in um, deodorant, the purpose of it is it literally blocks your sweat glands from letting any of the sweat out. So in my opinion, I actually just don't want a, I just don't want a deodorant that's going to completely block all of that because that's toxins in our body that kind of needs to get out. At least that's, again, this is just my opinion. So I like how this kind of keeps me fresh. I feel like it totally works. It kind of like still lets me get the toxins out a little bit. Um, and I'm not contributing to aluminum building up in my body. Okay, so this next one, I'm just throwing it into the the video kind of last minute because I haven't had it too long, but it's honestly from you guys. You guys commented this over and over again. I've also seen it on, on Instagram countless times. So I finally took the plunge and I ordered one and I love it. This is the Soma and Bliss wireless bra. It's so comfortable, it's so comfortable. And I love a good seamless bra. I have recommended a few of them to you guys. I still stand by those. Um, but the thing is I'm a lot smaller than some people. And so I, the reason I think some, like everyone basically loves this is because it works for people of all sizes. Uh, it gives a lot of coverage and support, but also is very um, what's the word, seamless and just comfortable. That's the number one thing. It is so darn comfortable because it's wire free. So anyway, they come in a lot of different um, shades so you can match your skin tone, but yeah. Should have bought it sooner. Everything that I shared in today's video, I will link down below in the description box. But if you happen to be new, consider subscribing or following. But otherwise, I'll see you very soon. Bye.